In this new video, we're looking at seven great three-wheelers available for 2021. But we're not just leaving it there, we're also including one wildcard for an extra special eighth entry that we're hoping to see sometime later this year, so make sure to leave your guesses in the comments below. Let's get into it, shall we? Kicking the list off, we've got the Piaggio MP3 HPE Sport 300. When I think about three-wheel scooters, the MP3 immediately comes to mind. First appearing over a decade ago, Piaggio's three-wheeler is still going and it's stronger than ever. One of the newest additions to the lineup is the MP3 HPE 300 Sport. This particular model is now Piaggio's entry-level MP3 with an on-the-road price of £7,250 and features a number of improvements compared to the previous version. Firstly, the most noticeable upgrade is the engine. Now utilising the same 300cc HPE engine seen in the Vespa GTS, but with a few tweaks to squeeze even more power out of it. The improvements don't stop there either. This new model has a brand new visual design that cuts away some of the old bulk, resulting in a more streamlined and agile aesthetic. Then there is Piaggio's multimedia platform that's able to connect to your smartphone and provide a range of handy functions including reports on the general state of your scooter as well as providing maps and details of your recent trips. The MP3 HPE 300 can also be ridden with a standard car driver's license. That's dependent on your license entitlements though. It handles much like a twist and go scooter with its quadrilateral suspension, allowing you to lean like a regular bike but with the increased traction and stability of three wheels. A locking mechanism also allows you to remain upright when you come to a standstill, and there's even a handbrake too. Before we move on, I just wanted to mention that fresh for 2021, the new MP3 400 HP Sport should be added to the range. Expect to see four colour options, a 399cc single cylinder four stroke engine producing a claimed 39.9 brake horsepower and the same ABS and traction control across the range. We're excited to see this machine join the fleet. Next up, the Yamaha Tri-City 125. Yamaha's Tri-City 125 is a little bit different to the other three-wheel scooters on this list. How you ask? Well, the front wheels are set up with a closer spacing to create a more agile and streamlined scooter that can cut through the traffic on an urban commute. And each wheel has independent suspension, allowing the Tri-City to lean and handle just like a traditional scooter. To add, the Tri-City is extremely lightweight, weighing just 164 kilos with a full tank of petrol, so putting a foot down when stuck in traffic won't be an issue. As well as that, the Tri-City 125 has Yamaha's latest blue core engine, offering great 125cc performance and excellent fuel consumption. And whilst the narrow front end does mean that this can't be classified as a trike and therefore can't be ridden with a car license, Yamaha have made sure this 125cc is still very accessible, affordable and an A1 license friendly machine with a price of just £4,149, making it one of the cheapest on the list. All in all, if you're curious to try out a three-wheeler, this could be a cost-effective way to get started. Moving on to Peugeot's Metropolis Allure. The Metropolis Allure is Peugeot's entry into the three-wheel scooter market and meets all the requirements to be ridden with a car license, including an upright locking mechanism, foot brake pedal and wide front wheel spacing. Updated for 2021, the Metropolis offers a lot of technology, including its dual tilting front wheels, ABS and even switchable traction control on the more deluxe versions. There's a tyre pressure sensor in place, as well as daytime running LED lights for maximum visibility. A spherical mirror is aimed to increase your field of vision in traffic, and there's an electronically adjustable windscreen. The Metropolis Allure offers great performance with its 35.6 horsepower, 4-stroke, Euro 5 compliant engine. And the extra comfort you get from this three-wheeler's spacious proportions means you can easily take this thing on tour, as well as commuting. Up next, Yamaha's Tri-City 300. Similar to the Tri-City 125, this larger capacity model features Yamaha's Blue Core engine. But this is where the similarities end, I'm afraid, as it delivers significantly more power and takes urban mobility to another level through that 300cc, four-stroke, single-cylinder, liquid-cooled engine. To add to this, the Tri-City 300 has a few added extras, including ABS, TCS, Smart Key, and Standing Assist System, all for added convenience. Speaking of convenience, a large under-seat storage space is also included, which is always handy, especially if you're using this as a commuter. Unlike its younger brother, the Tri-City can actually be ridden on a car license, though you will have to check your license restrictions. 
priced at £7,799, this is perfect for those with a higher budget who like the look of the Tri-City but are looking for a little more power. I just want to give a quick shout out to Lexham Insurance, who not only power us here at Bike Matters, but offer great rates on three-wheeled scooter insurance, and all other motorcycle and scooter insurance in fact. So if you are based in the UK and you are looking for a quote, click the top right hand corner now and they'll give you a £20 discount just for being a Bike Matters viewer. And don't forget, if you are enjoying this video, then make sure to hit the like button. But for now, let's get back to it. Up next, we've got the Can-Am Riker. Unlike all the other models here, the Can-Am Riker is not a motorcycle or a scooter with three wheels. It's in fact a more traditional trike. That does, however, have two wheels at the front as opposed to the back and handles like a super powered go-kart or quad. And even though it does have a twist and go automatic transmission, motorcycle style handlebars and saddle, that's about where the similarities end. The Riker weighs in at 280 kilos with an empty tank, making it the heaviest machine on the list. But it comes with a 900cc inline three cylinder engine with 82 horsepower and 79 newton meters of torque. So this thing can go even with a bit of weight. A rally version is also available, priced at £12,899, which offers rally tyres, rally seat, reinforced rims, rally riding mode, max mount structure and skid plate. And it has features such as a reverse mode, which you don't get on a normal motorcycle, sport and economy riding modes and interchangeable panels for style. Fresh for 2021 and meeting Euro 5 standards, next up we've got Piaggio's MP3 500 Sport Advanced. Let's start with that high performance 493cc liquid cooled engine that takes it up a notch compared to its younger sibling the 300 and produces 42.9 horsepower and 47.5 newton meters of torque. With ride by wire tech you can manage the engine's flow at low speeds with just the touch of a button on the handlebars. Moving on to looks and the 500 has some pretty distinctive features including Kayaba gas shock absorbers and daisy shaped front brake discs all to carry on the athletic and versatile family resemblance. With the redesigned backrest and ergonomic grip handles, it's perfect for traveling in pairs and provides comfort for all those miles this beast will cover. It's got all the gear too, including a reverse gear, which is a first when it comes to three wheel scooters and Piaggio's MIA smartphone connectivity. The MP3500 Sport Advanced is the bad boy in this family and combines features from both medium and high end categories. We're finishing this list with the Yamaha Nikon. First arriving in 2019, Yamaha's Nikon remains one of the most unusual machines in the current market. Whereas most three-wheelers on this list can be ridden with a car or A1 license, the Nikon is a fully-fledged motorcycle and requires a Category A license to match. The Nikon is essentially an MT-09, but with Yamaha's new leaning multi-wheel technology on the front end and a pair of front wheels. Each is supported by telescopic forks and able to reach a 45 degree lean angle, so they provide it with some mean corner performance. The Nikon is 70 kilos heavier than its two-wheel counterpart, however, so don't expect quite the same hooligan performance. With that said though, it's no slouch either, as it can easily hit 120 miles per hour top speeds. The Nikon excels in its stability, and let's not forget the extra comfort and windshielding offered from its design. As a result, this three-wheeler is very well suited to touring, and Yamaha recognised this by adding a GT version to the lineup. The regular Nikon starts at £14,202, with the Nikon GT costing £15,502. Both versions come loaded with features including traction control, adjustable suspension, ride modes, slipper clutch and cruise control. So if you're looking to try something new, there's nothing on the road quite like this. I promised you a wild card, didn't I? Well here it is. Likely to be arriving in 2021, the Kimco CV3 is the brand's first attempt at a three-wheel scooter and it features quite a few standout characteristics such as front upside down suspension, a newly designed rear fork and adventure oriented tyres all for comfort and the added ability to tackle any road condition, a power transmission matrix that balances the scooter and allows for better handling and with that front two-wheel design you'll feel stable and confident while riding. Weight wise it's on par with Can-Am Riker so it's going to be quite hefty and it is less powerful but the CV3 has the looks, comfort and spirit of any true three wheeled scooter and we can't wait for it to hit dealers in the UK and that's soon hopefully. Well there you have it, 7 of the best three wheelers for 2021 plus that special wild card. We want to know what you think though, do you agree? Do you disagree? Are you excited for the release of Kimco's CV3? Let us know in the comments now. But for now, over and out, I'll see you on the next one.